In the city of Dallas, everyone talks about Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys of the NFL. However, the NBA's Dallas Mavericks have been one of the best valued and best well run franchises in the entire league. And that is in part thanks to majority owner Mark Cuban. Cuban, a billionaire whose net worth is slated at about $4.5 billion, has been a major part of the Mavericks' success since purchasing the team in 2000. Today we're going to be talking about the impact that Cuban has made on the Mavericks because it's quite a positive one. But before we do that, I just wanted to introduce myself. Hey, y'all, I'm MacArthur Moore. I'm a sports tutor that makes NBA, NFL, NASCAR, NCAA, and golf content. So if you enjoy any of those things, it would mean the absolute worst to me. It helps me out a ton. If you would, hit that red subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. And also, if you would share this video with your friends and family, that absolutely makes my day. And if you want to see even more of my content, I'm super active on Instagram and Twitter. So... There will be links to those down in my description, but without further ado, I do not want to waste any more of your guys' time, so let's get on with the video. 1999, while attending a Dallas Mavericks game, Cuban came in and he saw the empty seats, all the lifelessness feeling in the arena, and just the team's embarrassing play on the court, and Cuban said, I could do better. So while the game was going on, he was trying to ponder of an idea. What could I do? What could I do to make the Mavericks better? He then decided it hit him. I can buy the team. I'm rich now. As Cuban had recently sold his company, Broadcast.com, for $5.4 billion. And within six weeks, Cuban had bought the Mavericks for $286 million. Cuban then said people asked him if he wanted a desk or a fancy office. He said, no, I want a desk set up in the ticket office. And he set up a phone, a phone book, and a record of the old Dallas Mavericks ticket buyers. He then called him and said that the Mavericks experience was getting better, the court performance was getting better, and that tickets had never been cheaper. That, in fact, it would cost you more to take your family out to McDonald's than it would to come to a Mavericks game. And people believed him. He said, if you don't believe me, I'll give you the first game. So he was giving away tickets. And it started to fill up the arena. And people started buying tickets. It was a genius business model. And the team court success started to show as in Cuban's second year as owner the Mavericks finished with a 53 and 29 record and they had found a formula that had worked they were building their team around German star Dirk Nowitzki and that really really worked as it worked so well that in 2006 the Mavericks got their first ever taste of finals experience they would fall to the Miami Heat and Dwayne Wade in six games. However, in just five short years later, the Mavericks would be right back into the NBA Finals, this time once again against the Miami Heat. However, the Heat were heavily favored, had the three-headed monster of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. Mavericks were able to contain LeBron James, which was a rarity, and it caused James to have the worst Finals appearance of his life. Dirk Nowitzki was named Finals MVP after the Mavericks beat the Heat in six games, and a lot of people thought Cuban would take credit for this NBA championship, but he really didn't, and in fact, when they interviewed him on stage, he said that it was not about him, but instead it was about Dirk, Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, Sean Marion, Tyson Chandler, Rick Carlisle, the coach, and the entire Dallas Mavericks organization. He was so selfless that when it came time to receive the trophy, Cuban had Commissioner David Stern present the trophy to Dallas Mavericks original owner Don Carter and while the Mavs have not gone back to the NBA Finals since 2011 they have come very close as in 2022 they shocked the world defeating top seeded Phoenix Suns and then they took the eventual champion Golden State Warriors to six games Mark Cuban is a very smart winner his team, since his purchase, has only missed the playoffs five times and is known for not really rebuilding a team when they struggle, but instead retooling them. And it really is just like a switch from era to era. So it started when he bought the team as the Dirk Nowitzki era. Well, then in 2018, 2019, it was that kind of flip to the Luka Doncic era. And when it's Luka's time to go, Mark Cuban will have another young star to replace him with. And let's just talk value. I said at the beginning of this video that Cuban bought the Mavericks for $286 million in 2000. And at the recording of this video, at the end of 2022, they are now worth $3.3 billion, which puts them at the 8th most valuable NBA franchise. 
So it's pretty safe to say that not only has the court success been pretty cool, but Mark Cuban's purchase was a profitable one. But anyway, y'all, that'll end today's video. If you enjoyed and you'd like to see more, show it by hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and sharing this video with your friends and family. I just want to thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. You have no idea how much it means. But anyway, until next time, I want y'all to have an awesome day, and I'll see y'all later.